Hello and welcome to Millie White Cooks. Today's low-fat, hot, healthy dessert recipe is for my creamy, indulgent tasting almond apricot and amaretto rice pudding. It's easy to make and versatile too, as it can be served as a hot pudding in the winter or a cold dessert in the warmer summer months. This recipe from my low cholesterol Mediterranean diet cookbook serves four. It's only 210 calories with six grams of total fat and just two grams of saturated fat per portion. You can find the links to my cookbook in the detail box below. We'll start by taking a quick look at the ingredients list. You'll need 95 grams or half a cup of whole grain basmati rice. 50 grams or one third of a cup of ready to eat dried apricots. Two tablespoons of flaked almonds. 360 mils or one and a half cups of unsweetened almond milk. Two tablespoons of natural castor or superfine sugar. Two tablespoons of amaretto liqueur, but I'll provide some alternative suggestions if you don't have this to hand. Our flavourings include one vanilla bean, some freshly ground nutmeg and one cinnamon stick. And to serve, we'll need 60 mils or a quarter of a cup of half fat creme fraiche or dairy free yoghurt. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more healthy cooking inspiration. Now let's get cooking. First of all, we're going to dice the apricots and pop them into a small bowl. Pour over the amaretto liquor and leave them to soak. If you don't have amaretto, you could use Cointreau or Grand Marnier, but if you don't want to use alcohol at all, then soak the apricots in orange juice instead. Next, we're going to start cooking the rice in a medium saucepan, adding 240 ml, which is one cup, of cold water. Give the rice a quick stir and bring it to a simmer over a medium heat. Then reduce the heat to low and leave it to cook without the lid on. Meanwhile, I've been heating my cute little sauté pan over a medium heat and I'm going to add the flaked almonds and toast them for a few minutes. Remember to take them off the heat once they're golden brown. Returning to the rice, you can see most of the water has been absorbed, but the rice remains a little wet and this has taken between 10 and 15 minutes. So next you need to add the almond milk, sugar and a very generous grating of fragrant nutmeg. I'm using my cinnamon stick to give everything a good stir before popping it into the pan too. Finally, split the vanilla bean in half lengthwise and scrape out the seeds, adding both these and the pod to the pan. Don't waste any of those precious seeds. Return to a simmer and cook uncovered for a further 20 to 25 minutes, stirring occasionally until all the milk has been absorbed. This pudding can be served hot or cold. As I'm going to serve mine chilled, I'm transferring it to a sealable container and I've left in the cinnamon stick and vanilla pod. I'm going to allow it to cool slightly before putting it into the fridge to chill fully. However, if serving the rice hot, at this point you just remove the cinnamon stick and vanilla pod and then spoon into warm serving bowls before finishing with the toppings. When ready to serve, spoon the rice pudding into pretty dessert bowls. Top each one with a tablespoon of half fat creme fraiche or dairy free yoghurt if you want to keep this dessert completely dairy free. Then spoon over the soaked apricots and any soaking liquor. Finally, scatter over the toasted almonds and serve. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you have. You can find this recipe in my best-selling, easy, low-fat and low-cholesterol Mediterranean diet cookbook featuring more than 100 heart-healthy recipes. Available as a paperback or Kindle book from Amazon or as an e-book from iBooks, Nook or Kobo. You'll find all the links in the description box below and I also have a quick video preview that you can watch too. You may also like to watch more videos in my low fat and low cholesterol cooking series like these for my chicken Veronique pasta salad and my banana nut and maple tea bread. If you're interested in finding out more about eating for low cholesterol then watch my video 31 fabulous low cholesterol diet foods. Thank you so much for your company. 
Please also let me know if you make this or if you'd like to see a video of any other of my recipes. And bye for now.